Okay, so, hello there. I'm really surprised nobody's done this in the past already, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to make a video tutorial, or attempt to, on how to make a mod for the Supreme Ruler 2020 game. I won't do 1936 or Cold War because it's the modding is pretty similar. There are some differences, but for making different regions or different countries, something like that, it's it's pretty much all the same. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do, you're going to need to go into your computer folder and find your Paradox Interactive folder. It'll be in there somewhere. You just have to dig for it. You have to find whatever game you're going to mod. So we're going to do 2020. Now, you select 2020. You've got all these files in here. These are your game files, all of these folders. Now, down here, you, just, you don't need to worry about any of this. This is just, I don't even know what half of this is. Um, but what you're mostly going to worry about is your maps folders, your cache folder, and your campaign folder. And say, I don't know, let's just say we want to mod... We want Germany to own Poland. Okay, let's let's just say that. So what we're gonna do? We're going to go to maps, and you're going to select one of the scenarios here. Now, I would just select global crisis. That's what I built one of my mods off of. So that's let's just do this. Now before we before you do any of this, back up your game files, which I have done here. Copy all of these folders down. You don't even if you don't change anything in them, just copy them all anyway. It's good to have them backed up. I've got it done because I'm just going to erase whatever I do here right now. So, you want to make Germany own Poland. So, I'm going to open up the CVP, CVP file right here. This is where all of your country information is, okay? You're going to find Poland. Now, you can scroll all the way down this list and find it, but I advise against that. If you're using Notepad like I am, just go Control F and find. Type in Poland. There you go, Poland. This ID number is what you need. This is the number for Poland. Whenever you're trying to add one region to another, you don't type in the name. You type in this number right here. So Poland's number is 1106. Okay? Now scroll all the way back up to the top. You're going to click up here somewhere, and then you're going to erase this and find Germany. There you go. Now, in this folder, or in this file, there is multiple Germanys. That's just some other things that the goats had made for what, I don't know. But you'll find the right Germany. Now there's Austria, Germany, no idea. West Germany, East Germany, Southern Germany, and then there's this Germany, 1499. That is the one that is actually in-game. Now what you're going to do is scroll all the way down here, and you're going to see this grouping right here. Now this Germany that's in-game is made up of... Western, Eastern, and Southern Germany. So, you want them to have Poland as well. So, in this grouping, you are going to add 1106. There you go. Now, you will close out this file, save game, or save file. Now, you're going to go back to your main folder where you see cache. You're going to go into your cache, scroll down until you see global crisis, which I passed it. It's here somewhere. Oh, it appears it appears it. Yeah, there it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to delete that. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and cache the game because it takes forever. It'll take roughly 40 minutes. It does for me anyway whenever I do it. It'll take 40 minutes to cache the game. What you do, what you need to do to cache the game is just start it up as you normally would, find your scenario, which is Global Crisis, and launch the game. It'll look like it's frozen. You won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to tab out or play anything or select anything. It'll look like it's frozen, but it's actually not. It's caching the game. When it's done, it'll send you right back to the main menu. Then what you have to do is you have to go back to your desktop, find your Save Games folder, go into your Supreme Ruler 2020, go to Save Game, and in here there's going to be something named like cached dash global crisis dash something save or something like that. I'm not sure, actually sure what it is. Actually, I might have one of them in here somewhere. Let's see. Nope. I do a lot of, of, of Russian games. I'm sorry. That's what I like. There you go. That's. Oh, wait. No, never mind. That's autosave. My bad. Never mind. 
Okay, so it'll be in here. It'll be a cache file anyway. I won't do it now because for some reason the video doesn't record the game and record the desktop at the same time. I don't know how to use it, so whatever. But it'll be in here. So you'll rename it to Global Crisis or whatever your cache file is supposed to be renamed to. That you can see in your campaigns folder right here. You click in Global Crisis Scenario File and it is right here. That is the map. No, that's the MapX file. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Ah, save file right here. So you'll have to name your cache file exactly the way it is right here. Global Crisis. If you want to change the name of that to, I don't know. There you go. That's, that's the name of your scenario now. You'll have to rename your cache file to exactly that. And then you'll save this and then go back and you'll put drag your cache file out of your save games folder and put it in here then you'll start up your game and everything should should work if it doesn't well you'll have to figure out the problem on your own because I don't know what the post there's an infinite amount of things that can be done wrong but if you're one thing I'll tell you as well if you're adding in a country that doesn't currently exist in the game you're going to have to find you're gonna have to copy a, a country a nation, just drag and copy all of this, and then paste it down, rename it to what you want, change all the stuff in here that you want, and fix that. And then, 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 you're going to have to go to your regions file. Whatever the ID of your country you decide to put it as, if you put it as 900, you're going to go in here, and you're going to add... 900 to your regions list and once you have that done you're just going to save your game or save your folder and then just go back and cache your game once you have it cached you just like I said you put it in here you start up your game and it should work the best way to create a country is to modify one that currently exists I mean you can create one if you want to I do that because I know how to do it now, but it's relatively easy for me to do this stuff because I've been doing it for a while. However, it did in fact take me a long time to figure it out because I was just reading the Supreme Ruler Wiki and reading forum posts and bothering several people on the forums. One of them I will actually mention, his name's Hullyhoven, or Hullyhoven, however you want to say your name, I, I don't know. But I bothered him more than once asking him on how to do stuff, and he helped me quite a bit. And I wouldn't have been able to actually make the mod that I've made. I haven't put it up for download or anything like that. It's just, it's not right yet. But anyway, whatever. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to make that. Just plain and simple. But if you need help with other stuff, just post it on. Hopefully somebody will end up helping you. If I see it, I, I can attempt to help you, but... It helps if you upload your files as well, so someone can look at them and see what you've got done. If something's done wrong, then they can see that and they can tell you what it is. Um, also, tell them exactly the precise files you modified so they don't have to dig through every single file and try and find what it is, because that is very tedious. Because there's quite a lot of files in this game that you could screw something up in. So... That's the basic changing what countries own what and how to create a country, I suppose. I, I, I mean, I hope it helps somebody. It, it, something like this sure as hell could have helped me when I was trying to do my mod originally, but maybe it won't help you. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But good luck with it and have fun.